For Dakota Frias and his 15-year-old sister Sophia, it's a family tradition to get downtown hours ahead of time to set up for their family's red, white, and boom party. What brings you down so early? So that way we can make sure we don't have anybody blocking our view. <laughs> has that happened before? It has. During last year's fireworks show, some people started running in panic after police say some kids falsely began yelling, gunshots have been fired. People go running, that's all we saw. And then it was just, my mom is very, she's a very calm and collected person, was just stay calm, don't run, just stay here. There was no shots fired. Um, we're gonna encourage people to not do that. It's important that we don't induce panic. We wanna make sure that everyone stays safe. As in previous years, Columbus police saturating the area with law enforcement to keep the area secure. There are gonna be police officers everywhere, on foot, on bikes, um, on horses, some plain clothes that you won't see. Law enforcement across central Ohio also helping with the boom. Franklin County Sheriff's Office will be patrolling the river with its dive team, making sure everything's safe. And the sheriff's bomb team this morning checking every vehicle, asking to be let into the red, white, and boom midway. You get this many people, you just can't take a chance on something happening. Security layers Dakota and his family grateful will be surrounding them from all sides. I don't, I don't ever worry. I know we got police force, you know, plenty and plenty of security all the way around, so I don't ever worry.